We've seen all sorts of turmoil in the high-flying cloud stocks for the past few days. Some of these names have come down hard. But what about the not-so-high-flying cloud stocks? Look at VMware, the virtualization software pioneer in Kramer Cloud King that allows data centers to run multiple virtual machines in a single server. And that's become a major player in the cloud infrastructure space and on the border. VMware's been doing just fine for the past week, maybe maybe because the stock had been crushed last month. Remember, this company, subsidiary of Dell, reported a fantastic quarter in late August. Fantastic. But there was one major fly in the ointment. We learned that VMware would be making two acquisitions, not one but two, Pivotal Software, another Dell subsidiary, and Carbon Black, a cloud-native security play. The deals weren't even that big. They were paying $3.6 billion for Pivotal, $2.1 billion for Carbon Black. Didn't matter. Investors and analysts alike found the deals questionable in value, and the stock got clobbered, sinking to one twenty at its lows last month, down from 180 near the end of July. However, in the past couple of weeks, VMware's begun to bounce. Stock back up over up to 153 after a terrific almost six buck gain today. I told you at the time that the negative reaction was way overblown. Is Wall Street finally coming to the same conclusion? Let's take a closer look with Sanjay Putin. He's VMware's chief operating officer for customer operations to get a better sense of these so-called controversial deals and what they mean for his company. Mr. Putin, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank Good you, to Joe. see you, Sajay. Have a Always seat. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Now, there I see. My, why why don't we just start with Carbon Black? black. Shirt. There let's we go. Start. And my Pivotal Socks. Pivotal Socks. Okay, well, let's start with these because we know that the quarter was fine, and we can address that later because I thought it was a, a, an excellent quarter. People were baffled that you could do two acquisitions at once, why one company could, do, could even handle that, and why you picked these companies. I think if you the, – the stock is saying that maybe there's more to it than that. You can walk us through. Yeah, let's walk through them one at a time. Okay. When you look at these types of transformational moments going on in digital transformation, these happen once every 10, 20 years. VMware is the company that invented the virtual machine, and for the last 20 years, we've created a million jobs in that part of infrastructure. There is a movement going on in digital transformation right now called containers. And we believe it's our birthright to own that movement because there will be potentially tens of millions of jobs among developers created on top of this virtual machine. Think of the virtual machine sort of like the ship and containers like the things on top of the ship. Because I was going to say, is that the good analogy? That's the right one. In the 1950s, containers completely transformed ships. VMware created the ship, and now these containers are going to allow apps to be fundamentally transformed. We found as we thought about this that this was the right time to do it, and it was our birthright to do it better than anybody else. Why not take those 3,000 people from Pivotal, 750 million in revenue, and turbocharge the next 10 years of VMware, not just in virtual machines and virtualization and the path to the cloud, which is the first C, mm -hmm. but the other C is containers. And we think that's a big part. And we'll get to security later. Okay, but now, that's now the Pivotal had, lately had not done one well in the stock market. Has something changed to make it so it's more valuable? Or is it the merger with VMware that creates the Two problem? things. One is they've refactored their product. Now sit completely on this word Kubernetes. Okay. If you don't know what it is, it's a, sort of the big open source container movement. And the go-to-market engine probably stuttered a little bit. But that's what VMware does well. We're a go-to-market machine. Right. We'll bring them in and accelerate this to our 500,000 customers. So we feel good. When we get a good product in the hands of a good go-to-market machine, right. I think we can accelerate. And, and that's when what you we say look. we, I mean, actually, you're going to be doing this. You're captaining this, right? Well, listen, VMware, it's the, no one person does it. Right. It takes the villages do it. Right. But also our partners, our partners like Dell, mm -hmm. and the ecosystem. VMware has 75,000 partners, Jim, who love us. We're going to take this to those ecosystem partners. We have a big tent, system integrators. They're excited about this. We branded the entire thing. That's the other thing we've done pretty well. Tanzu, which is the Japanese word for containers. We're doing big ads in New York, San Francisco, London Airport, a play on the word VMware that says containerware. We're not changing okay. the name of the company, but we're going big in containers, and that's the key message I want your viewers to take away. Okay, a crowded area right now is cyber, is security, okay, cloud security. You're wearing a T-shirt of a company that a lot of people on the analyst call said, geez, why carbon black? As Zscaler tonight uh, did say that business has gotten a little soft versus projections. Why do, does your great company need a part? Why, why not just partner with a security company? Why do you have to own one? Well, listen, fundamentally, we have a bigger plan of security. And let me just walk you through okay, a quick understanding of the strategy. There's a lot of parallels between security and healthcare. And my mom's a doctor. Imagine you went to a doctor, Jim. And you asked her, how do you get well? And she said, you have to eat 5,000 tablets. Eating one every 30 seconds would take you a couple of weeks to do that. That's what the security industry is today. 5,000 vendors, broken, lots of different agents that bloated on people's laptops, 
uh, lots of alerts showing up, manual labor. So we look at this and say there's a fundamental new way to do it, which is to make security intrinsic into your diet. You eat your vegetables, your fruit, you drink your water, brush your teeth, and that's what we're doing in security is making it part of our platform. So we've been doing very well in network security okay. around the NSX product. But endpoint security and workload security, we, had, we didn't have much there. We had Workspace ONE, our AirWatch related product. And we found as many of these endpoint security players were, you know, kind of a little bit in turmoil. Symantec got bought by Broadcom, right. McAfee got bought by Intel and spun out again. We felt it was the perfect time for us to come up with a disruptive play that was based on big data, AI, was cloud native, and there was only two companies doing it. CrowdStrike and Carbon Black. We felt this company was better integrated to us, had as good a product or better, okay? okay. I one was also good for right. us, as you could sure understand. Was. And we acquired, we intend to acquire them. The acquisition one is closed. We have a plan to integrate this and make it intrinsic in a way that nobody else will do. And we laid that out at VMworld. We think this will transform the security industry that's been broken today. Well, that's our plan. I, I now understand it. I needed to hear it from you. In the meantime, you always come with a lesson. Uh, this time you have a music lesson about business that I think a lot of people want to hear. Listen, I think in general, much has been talked about STEM, science, technology, yes. um, engineering, math. I think you can add an A into that and call it STEAM because arts is really important. And I think when you can bring music and arts, one of the gifts I have as a jazz pianist is making things simple. So sometimes I'll bring music into the middle of a keynote. If you watch on YouTube, I've done this a couple of different times. And it's just a way most keynotes are boring and yes. death by PowerPoint. Yes. Why not add a little music into it? And sometimes when I start the keynote this way, people are stunned by it. And that's how we want to make this lively, entertaining. And there's often a little bit of an artistic message that you can play in that at the core of every song is a beautiful melody that goes round and round. And that's what, that's what business is all about. Well, I am grateful for you coming in and speaking English about why these acquisitions are good. And also, I think your Ray Charles music, let me just say your piano, as good as One the band. Absolutely. I know. Okay, that's Sanjay Poonin, VMware's Chief Operating Officer. I hope you understand now. I think it helps me tremendously about why Carbon Black, why Pivotal, and why not buy VMware simply because it is really down. They have money's back in the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.